This is N2 LEN with another quick video clip. Um, for those of you that have been following me on YouTube and Facebook, uh, the latest project on the bench is a full, complete electronic restoration of a tram D201A. Um, and uh, this particular radio was purchased off of eBay. Uh, I will be making another uh, couple of video clips, probably in uh, separate parts of uh, the entire restoration. This is going to be a probably, I'm going to say, a 80 to 85 percent ground up restoration. Uh, Right now we're just uh, completing the power uh, power resistors, replacing all the power resistors and upgrading them, all the electrolytic caps. Uh, I'm waiting on some axial caps to come in, um, diodes, uh, plate bypass caps coming in. But anyway, uh, today the newest addition that's actually going to help the tram restoration along is this new to me and it is in pristine condition this uh, B&K model 707 Dynajet tube tester uh, I've wanted one for many many years uh, looking online going to different uh, swap meets ham fests Mostly, all of them that, that you see are really pretty beat up basket cases. Uh, if you find one online, like uh, one of the auction sites like eBay, and it's in good condition, maybe one that's gone through uh, an electronic restoration, replacing the capacitors, power resistors, or removing all the carbon film resistors, and then a, a complete uh, calibration, you're going to spend big big bucks anyway this one was found believe it or not online locally uh, today we took a, uh, a road trip met up with the original owner the gentleman was in his 90s great guy and uh, as you could see it was kept he is the original owner back from 1968 and as you could see it was meticulously kept it really shows almost no wear at all um, and what we're doing right now is we're gonna do the first initial test of a tube of course I'm going to give this particular tube tester a full restoration I'm gonna replace there's only six electrolytic caps a handful of uh, carbon resistors I'm going to give it a full calibration, order the calibration kit, which is a couple of bucks, and I could do the calibration myself, and uh, this is probably going to last me for the rest of my life. Uh, and it's going to test whatever possible tubes that I needed to test, ham radio, transmitting tubes, audio tubes. But right now, um, the tube that's, that I placed in for a first test is the original tram from the, the uh, D201 a that we're working on this is the final output tube which is a 6l6 gc from 1977 actually all the tubes that were removed and i'll show them to you I have them right here on this the dryer um they're all tram tubes all original tram labeled tubes which is uh Pretty unbelievable, actually. So, what you do basically, uh, the, the unit right now, the tube tester is powered up. As you can see, the power light is on. The, the tube actually is uh, placed into the socket. The way that you set this up to test a tube is you just basically, this is the original uh, tube chart. And if you take a look for a 6L6, it tells you the 
uh, where to set the control knobs, the heater knob, what socket to place it in, uh, what, uh, where to set the sensitivity knob. And for the 6L6, you could see that it's, the heater knob is placed at number six. You place it into tube socket number 29 and the sensitivity is set, uh, the sensitivity knob at number 63. So the tube is placed into, as you can see, they're all labeled from one all the way up to 45. But I have it placed into tube number, tube socket number 29. And as you could see, uh, there are popular tubes that are actually listed there. You could test the, uh, and you could see right there, it says uh, 6L6. And uh, we set the heater knob, just like the manual says, at 6. The sensitivity knob at uh, 63. And what we'll do is I'll briefly just shut off the light. I'll dim the light. Let me shut the top light off. And I'll shut off the... You could actually, if you take a look in the tube, you could see that it's lit. The filament is lit. You could see that in the the bottom of the tube. Okay, let me go ahead and put the light back on. Okay, let the uh, camera readjust. And now that we have everything set, the first button will let you know if there are any internal shorts, and we press that, and as you see, the meter is not moving. Uh, any grid emissions, and it should be low to nil. And now we're going to check the admissions test. And if you look at the meter, really, see if I can get the, the reflection of the light out of there so you can see that a little bit better. We want to be somewhere right around uh, anywhere between 80 to 120%. So we're going to go ahead and press the button. And look at that. We're at about 118, 119. Right to zero. And we'll press it again. Just about 118. So that tube tests uh, very, very good. Good emissions. And that's basically it. That is uh, the B&K Model 707 Dynajet tube tester. Uh, testing the original 1977 tram. D201A 6L6 model GC final output tube. Let me go ahead and show you uh, the inside of the tram. You can see the power resistors that have been changed out. I'm going to say probably maybe 10 to 12 hours. All the blue 2 watt, 3, excuse me, 3 watt power resistors. I'm waiting on the axial caps. I changed uh, several electrolytics. I don't know if you can actually see them. But you can see the small electrolytic caps that have been uh, uh, changed out. Uh, same thing, power resistors here on the main receive board. The auxiliary receive board uh, changed out. Also, several electro, small, lo low voltage electrolytic caps have been done. You can see over here. And it's coming along rather, uh, very well, actually. Rebuilt the channel selector, recleaned it, and uh, relubricated the channel selector. And that's basically it. So, with that said, this is N2LEN saying best 7 3.